Hello and welcome to another video in Colon tutorial for beginners and in today's video we will be looking at panic keyword in Colang. So what is panic keyword does? In some cases when a particular abnormal condition occurs in a program at that time we need to prematurely terminate this program. So in this case we will use a panic keyword. The idiomatic way of handling the abnormal condition is in a go program is using errors. Errors are sufficient in yeah. some conditions, but some conditions where the abnormal things happen at that time we can use panic. So let's go ahead and open our Visual Studio code and I'll, sh I'll show you the examples. In the last video I've shown you how to do file operation and we had used deferred keyword for the close file function. So in this example, if you go ahead and uh, just remove the path for which path to the create file function which you are giving that is the path to the defer.txt file so if we pass an empty path as a string let's see what happens so you can see it just prints creating that is it has entered the creating create file function and then it just panics because it got an empty directory or empty path so you can see the error open and no such file or directory and you can see that stack trace here so it is first go routine one that is the program this program is running and in this in the main from the main function we have passed the control to the create file function in which the panic has happened and then the main function is the control has gone back to the main function and we got the exit status two so here you can see that uh, it has uh, panicked in here in the create file function it just prints creating and the path which we had given the p it was empty so while os.create function was creating the file it found that the path is empty and it just sent the error to the error key keyword or the error variable so when it found out that error not was not equal to nil means there was an error we panicked and we just use the inbuilt panic function to show the error so this error variable we have given here so that's what we got and as soon as uh, it panicked the control went from this function the create of function to the main function and it just terminated the program without executing the line 18 and 19 those were having closed file and write file function so this you have to keep in mind and one more thing is if we have used any deferred statements or deferred function in your program so for example if I make this uh, print statement as deferred what will happen is when the control when the program will go into panic phase when it create file function will return to the main function at that time it will just execute all the deferred function so before stopping the program or before terminating the program it will just print the creating because it was a deferred statement so it looks for a deferred statement that what that's what i had already told you in the slides and then it will just close the program now let's go ahead and look at another example i just zoom out a little bit so this program actually uses one function the function name is account details so what we are de doing here is we are taking a user id and you can see the main function and we are taking the branch code so this is about the bank so and we have a account details function inside this function we are passing both these parameters user id branch code using ampersand symbol that means we are passing it by using a reference that is a pointer and when the account details get account details function will get these arguments as uh, pointers we'll just go ahead and print the values of that and we'll just print the return normally from account detail function so let's just go ahead and run this So in here you can see that we got 4567 and 12 so this is output we have printed in the 
account details function and then we got the return normally from the account details function and return returned normally from main function now let's go ahead and just comment this branch code and instead of passing a branch code we we'll just pass nil and let's go ahead and run this so you can see that we didn't use panic keyword in this program but still we got a panic because panic is a built-in function and then runtime error has occurred and while passing the arguments you pass a nil argument instead of passing a memory reference so it got a nil pointer reference and you can see that uh, it has gone to the main account details and then it got back to main function so let's go ahead and uh, add some panic keyword logic so for example let's just check we'll just add error handling here so we have user id first so user id equal equal to nil let's say then what we can do is we'll just panic out a message so inside here we'll just panic that uh, we got in runtime error and user id can't be nil so same way you can say for the branch code also so we'll add branch code and we'll just say branch code can't be nil okay and if you go ahead and run this you can see that uh, we got a panic error but now we are not getting the inbuilt uh, error since we are putting a custom error here that is branch code can't be nil so this is how you can customize the panic keyword and we can get a different output now let's see what happens when we add defer statements in this program so i had added some defer statements here so in the function main we have a defer statement so it will say deferred call in main function and in account details we'll have in the beginning we'll have a deferred call in account details so currently what is happening here is without the deferred call we are just passing first uh, it will say return normally from account detail function then it will say return normally from the main function now let's go ahead and run this with the deferred statements so you can see that first it is printing deferred call in account details then it is saying defer deferred call in main function and then it, it is just panicking so that means it has put this deferred call in main function this statement in stack then it went into account details function so when in account details function it got encountered this again deferred statement is it has put in the stack and when it account encountered a panic at that time it stopped executing the program and it was going to take the control back to the main function from the account details function but it checked for the deferred statement so it found that it has one deferred statement it executed that and it just printed out so first this uh, deferred statement was printed then it came to the main function the control came to the main function and then at that time it just checked if any deferred statements were there from earlier so it found this deferred statement and it is printed that and it didn't execute any of the code from the line 26 and line 17 and 18 so this is how deferred statement work along with the panic so this you have to keep in mind one more thing i forgot to tell you yesterday in the deferred keyword video for example let me comment out the other code in the main function in earlier code if we have exactly one variable which is a string variable which contains name and it's my name then we have a print and print statement and it is printing the name and we have we are making it as a deferred 
and then again we are printing the value and we are just changing the value of the name variable so if you go ahead and run this you can see that it is printing ganesh and it is not printing the value which we had at later so why this is happening is because the default statement takes the value from the first statement it has run so while running in the beginning it was having this value as ganesh so when we change the value from ganesh to lol it didn't take it to consideration and it only takes it only took the value from the earlier one so that's all guys thank you for watching i will see you in the next video